are these people? So I wanted to pull this story because, as many of you know, we interviewed Vanessa Beely last week. Uh, she kind of mentioned something similar to this in regards to typhoid uh, or Israel contaminating Palestinian water supply with typhoid back in the day. Uh, so now we have an issue with a polio endemic now in Gaza. So I, I, I feel in, honestly, I feel we should have a playlist of the destruction of Gaza. Like we've talked about the schools, we talked about yep. the healthcare infrastructure, we talked about the food, we mm -hmm. talked about, you know, the state of living, you know, we talked about women's issues, and now we got to talk about bullying. So, yep. so yeah, not, um, I mean, it's sad, but given what is happening, and again, like people are, I don't want to say people don't care, but I think people have jumped ship because as you said, it's like Trump bad. So it's a matter of winning at the expense of Palestinians <laughs> at this yeah. point. Um, yep. I think it's just kind of sick. Um, I, I, this so I want to play, I just want to make sure. Um, I think, yeah, this is from Reuters. Yeah. Uh, they did, they reported on, you know, this uh, epidemic in Gaza. Mm. Uh, so let's check out what they have to say and then we will continue the segment. The HWO says there's a high risk of polio spreading across the ra war ravaged Gaza Strip and beyond. Thank you very much. This uh, is not only uh, because uh, of the detection, but because of the very dire situation with water sanitation, as you may be aware, this virus is spread through fecal oral way of transmission. In addition to that, as I said, the functionality of the health facilities, especially primary health care services that provide vaccination and the other maternal and child health services uh, to the population in Gaza, is critical, is basically not functioning uh, that it used to function before. Also, it may uh, spill over internationally is at a very high at, at a very high point. So uh, we would, uh, uh, together with the partners, need to work uh, around the clock to uh, make sure that the uh, epidemiological investigation is complete, risk assessment is complete. This is a uh, going to be a very bad situation that we, we may face in Gaza. And we may have more people dying of different communicable diseases than from the injury-related diseases, uh, conditions. The fact that polio is now becoming a thing again is terrifying, mm -hmm. you know? So, so I brought this article. We haven't done truth out in a minute. Yeah. Um, but this is from uh, Sharon Zhang, who we like generally. Um, and she's generally has been very uh, vocal in terms of her support for Palestine. So she writes, uh, Palestinian health officials declare polio epidemic in Gaza. Israel's assault is risking the resurgence of a type of polio that was declared eradicated a decade ago. So Ah, so she continues. Gaza to be a polio and epidemic area due to Israel's relentless assault and deadly humanitarian blockade, pretending yet more horrific circumstances being forced on Palestinians in coming months, unless Israeli officials agree to a ceasefire soon. Health officials declared the epidemic in a post on Telegram and warned that it will not only affect Palestinians in Gaza, but also people in neighboring countries. I guess in that should include Israel as well. So yeah. if they care, <laughs> they will do what they need to do to prevent it. But I think a it plague upon their people. houses. <laughs> of sorts, yeah. Um, when do the frogs come, Colin? When do they come? Um, although I would argue that Israelis have the means to leave if that happens. Yes. So... They do. Um, they can wander the desert for a while if they need to. Right. Um, Not sure about the Lebanese or the Syrians or maybe even the Egyptians. or Arabs. Right. So, um, the announcement comes after international health officials announced earlier this month that they have detected the virus that causes polio 
specifically polio type 2, in multiple wastewater samples from across Gaza. The epidemic poses a health threat to the people of Gaza, to neighboring countries, and a setback to global efforts to end polio, the ministry said. It called for immediate intervention to end Israel's genocide and address the sanitation catastrophe that has resulted from Israel's assault on Gaza's sanitation system. Health officials have been close to eradicating polo worldwide for years, with type 2 having been declared eradicated in 2015. But with this epidemic, polio may soon spread to nearby areas like Egypt. Children of Gaza and beyond are particularly at risk as the World Health Organization stopped including immunization from type 2 polio about a decade ago, a, a decision some have criticized. Polio virus is spread through the consumption of fecally contaminated water or food and can cause paralysis in affected individuals. The spread also, of disease in Gaza... Also, other including... contaminations cause it too, um, which we'll get to. Right. Um... Um, the spread of disease in Gaza, including polio virus, hepatitis A, and others, has been counted nearly unmitigated for months, with hundreds of thousands of tons of trash strewn about in large piles, vermin and bugs swarming, and sewage filled the streets where children play and people travel. Conditions are especially bad in Al Mawasi, which encompasses the supposed humanitarian safe zone Israel declared amidst its invasion of Rafah in May and has since bombed many times. The area is essentially nothing but desert and lacks basic infrastructure. Oxfam said in June that there are only 121 bathrooms for 500,000 people sheltering there, or 4,130 people per toilet. Dude, could the you... area has grown more crowded since June. Could you imagine the wait? Just to, like, uh, bro, I gotta wake I, up and, like, run no, to the potty, bro. No, like, I can't, <laughs> no, I'm trying to imagine. No offense, but. When I lived in Africa, I had to use a um, outhouse. Yeah, and they were fairly clean, but they had a funk to them. So, sure. you know, you know. So, I, it's just the stink that I cannot imagine. I'm sure it's like, no, I can't. Yeah, I'm sure if I was in that situation, I would probably throw up. Just given. <laughs> I mean, we know, like, we've talked about that these are usually, these 10 cities are around hospitals, you know, what's left of mm -hmm. them, right? So that's probably real great for the sanitary conditions within those facilities. So, you know, I don't know what else they can do. Like, I, I, I saw, I saw Israelis today literally tearing apart water sources for Palestinians. Like, Right. In summer heat, you know, like the any and all costs for them. So, but anyway, um, <sighs> advocates for Palestinian rights have called on the Biden administration to recognize the polio crisis and to act aggressively to pursue a ceasefire and to show that polio vaccines immediately meet the population of Gaza. The Israeli military has already announced that it will be offering vaccines to its soldiers, soldiers that said nothing about limiting the spread of the virus for Palestinians. Health officials have said that they have not yet detected any cases of paralysis caused by the polio virus, but Israel's assault has rendered disease surveillance virtually impossible. Also, good luck getting Palestinians to take any needle that you give them at this point. You know, right? like that's going to be a tough sell right now, too. So, yeah. Um, Last week, U.S. health workers who have volunteered in Gaza amid the genocide said that every single person they encountered in Gaza was sick, injured, or both, with little accounting of disease. It's possible then that, that, that there could be many cases of polio infecting people that have gone undetected, the healthcare worker noted. For instance, that they estimate that tens of thousands of Palestinians have been killed due to Israel's famine campaign, but have not been counted due to Israel's destruction of the healthcare system and other basic infrastructure. Yep. Um, oh. oh I yeah, it's just the, not sure. <laughs> the preview is not there either, but this has got to be our clip, right? Um, yes. 
so um so if you watched um our interview with Vanessa last week or since you would know or hopefully you would know that she talked about how Israel uh contaminated their waters with typhoid um yeah. so which correlates which covered... so it's kind of more like Right. Literally our so first coverage the in the Palestine. Um, right. So um so basically they're using well it's not to say they're using the same tricks, it's just the idea of like just very due to the bombing ones. and just blowing up in a st- structure is like they have no means to clean it up, at least right now, so that you know a lot of this disease is beginning to fester. So yeah. we're gonna watch a clip where we Vanessa mentions that. Um, just to make that connection, so you can go ahead, Reed. Yeah, she's got some thoughts about what's really causing this, so... Who are these people? I mean, you're hearing now about a polio outbreak. Well, if you actually read someone like William Engdahl, who had polio um, when he was five years old and was paralyzed as a result, he's done a huge amount of research into it, And his claim is basically that it's not a virus. Polio comes from the introduction of a toxin into the body, into the brain. And at that time, of course, when he contracted polio was when the use of DDT um, was sanctioned and it was basically being sprayed everywhere. Um, And there is, according to him, a correlation between um, the then prohibition of DDT and the drop in polio cases. And so now what we're suddenly seeing in Gaza, which immediately set off my alarm bells, alarm bells quite rightly after what you said, the poisoning of the water with typhoid previously, and, and, and that's, I'm, I'm quite sure it's been done multiple times, particularly in Gaza, because Gaza is a 40 kilometer by 12 kilometer extermination camp. And Israel totally controls all the water, for example, and all the food that comes into that camp. So how easy is it to introduce um, disease into that camp if, if you want to, for want of a better word, cull the population, right? I mean, there's, you know, there are diseases in Gaza that, um, considering the relatively healthy lifestyle they have when they're not being bombed by Israel um, is unusual and there's been a huge spike as far as I know in cancer cases and so on and so forth um, but suddenly there's an outbreak of polio <laughs> and actually I was talking to, to William about this, William Engdahl on um, <clears throat> Saturday and what he said to me, well, you know, the polio could have been introduced, but it could also be present in the conditions that are there anyway, because, yeah. you know, right. there's raw sewage in the streets and in, in the right. makeshift camps. Um, all the water supply has been destroyed, the water tanks. There was a video only a few days ago with the Zionists blowing up, um, you know, the big water siphons, you know, what do you call them, the, the huge um, bulk water carrier things and blowing them up. Um, so it could be that whatever is causing the polio has been introduced by the appalling sanitation conditions anyway. It could be that it has been introduced as a toxin. But then, of course, what's going to happen next, the rollout of the vaccine and what who what faction of society does polio affect children under the age of five right so i mean you know it doesn't take a huge amount to figure out what's happening here who are these people yeah um you know what i wasn't Mm. gonna do this but i'm gonna pull an article that i want you to Pull up. Um, show. Yeah. Yep. So hold on. Let me just send it to you on the score because, you know, kind of going along with what Vanessa was saying. Um, so I found this. Um, like I stumbled upon this article a couple of days ago and I tweeted mm-hmm. this out basically saying, you know, here's your genocidal intent. 
So this is from the Times of Israel. So this is Israeli media that Shmolerich, uh, I think he's the defense uh, person, mm -hmm. uh, said, it may be justified to starve 2 million Gazas, but the world won't let us. Far right minister expressed his support for reselling Gaza, said October 7th. Wouldn't have happened if it hadn't not been for the 2005 disengagement from the Strip. Uh, this was written by Toy Staff. Actually, you can scroll down uh, for me, please. Because I want I want you guys to hear the the batshit craziness in regard to like that what the Israelis is. Finance Minister, yes, finance. Okay, Finance Minister Basel Smolerich implied on Monday that he believes blocking humanitarian aid to the Gaza Strip is justified and moral, even if it causes 2 million civilians to die of hunger, but the international community won't allow that to happen. So basically he's saying the protests are working. Yeah. Right? So... Israel can't do what exactly what it likes to do because if you're protesting and you're uh, countering politicians and calling them out and Israel basically right now is kind of like stuck. So, so shout out to the people who called out Kamala today. And honestly, I hope that hurts her because she can't say, because she said, I think last week, oh, we care about the Palestinians and we need to help them, but you're going to uh, disavow people who are calling you out in terms of your complicity in this genocide, you know, and not doing anything for them because of yeah. So, um, and as I said in the previous stream, if Republicans are smart, they're not going to be. But if they were, this is something that they will call out on Kamala you know, for taking down protesters and not doing anything regarding Israel. So, but, but as you said, they're not going to do that because their shills to the Israeli lobby do. Um, and so they're going to miss that as an opportunity to, you know, counter Kamala on policy versus identity policy. Yeah. Sounds about right. I just love how he, his whole thing in this is hostages, you know? Like, we got to starve them out more so that they give it. You don't fucking give a fuck about the hostages, bro. Sorry. Right. If you did, you would have been already accepting the nine deals put in front of you, which you right. haven't done. So, good luck with that, you know? Um. Anyway, anything else? I think that's it. Um, I think that, yeah. Well, yeah, I just wanted to read that because, you know, like people are like, well, what's their intent? What's their intent? Israel is basically said their saying intent. and doing yeah. their intent. Yeah. And I feel they're saying this because they know, like, y'all are not going to do shit. So we can afford to say it. Uh, we can afford to do these atrocities because we can get away with it. So, but anyway. Talking about stuff like this is why we're demonetized. So if you want to support us and help us out, please feel free to scan the QR code on your screen. So to all, I don't want to say boomers, but to all the people who may not know how to use it, all you have to do is open the camera uh, app on your phone, uh, hold it to the screen with the QR code. It will scan and the link will pop up. Yep. Or you can type in the website kofi.com slash indie news network in order to support us on kofi um or if you forget the link you can type explanation point donate um and the link will pop up in the chat if you want to donate there uh if you want to donate in other areas such as cash app uh and demo um those links are in the description as well yeah. Uh, like I said, we always appreciate you guys supporting us. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to help us fight the suppression that YouTube is putting us through and to make sure you leave a comment. We do read them and we do respond to them. So say something nice. 
Or if you're going to be critical, be nice anyway. Um, and maybe we will respond. And especially if you have stories that you would like us to cover, please let us know and help us yep. get to 3K. I'm going to say 5K because just a bigger number. Yeah. That way people won't have to keep changing it every thousand. Whatever. Um, but what? And, and thank you guys for watching. Oh, 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 oh,